is coming right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is race five of our final session of qualifying, qualifying four for Euro RX1, and these are the ones to watch. These are already almost guaranteed a place in the semi-finals, but how will they line up in the semi-finals? And look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it Could doesn't be... get tighter than this, oh my God. You know, this is funny because Bakker is leading the standings into Q4. Then we have Jean-Baptiste Dubois. He has pole position for the last race in Q4. So this will be, will it be Jean-Baptiste or will it be Bakker that goes out first? It's extraordinary, isn't it? And we have the two Dubois brothers lining up alongside each other. And as we see with the Payets and with the Hansons, they will not be shy. They will try and play the team game. They'll try and play the fraternal game, but also both of them want the better position. So interesting to see if there'll be any contact between those two. And in the middle, pride of place, Andreas Bakkerud, as you say, who is leading the qualifying standings right now, who is in second place and in, in third place in the championship. But of course, at the end of this, there'll be championship points and some of them will be catapulted above Thomas Brinterson in his absence. So this will change the championship standings at the end of this session. Pulling up to the line now, tire clean, sending tire smoke and a little twitch at the end to make sure he's in the best grid position is Romuald Delaunay. And he makes up the grid. So this is going to be a very good race. Race five then of qualifying four for Euro RX1. On the inside is Jean-Baptiste Dubourg. Next to him is brother Andrea Dubourg. Andreas Backerud in the middle. Jonathan Payet and Romuald Delaunay. Four French drivers and a pretty quick Norwegian. And you can hear the revs, I can feel them from here. The ready to race light goes out. Is there gonna be a long hold? It's a long hold, green light, and away they go. A pretty even start across the board, but I think JB Dubourg on the oh, inside. Look at Delaney, look at the Delaney going around the outside. Oh, and with contact disaster. With, contact with Dubourg, and Dubourg, there's a 360 and it was stop. That was a disaster. Delaunay went for the full out round the outside send. Contact with his compatriot, Jean-Baptiste Dubourg, and in the process has put Dubourg out of this. A massive upset here. That changes the standings totally. Totally does, and there's damage there on the front as well uh, of that car. So Dubourg has damage on the front right. No, that, that is Andrea. Andrea is for having damage. Ah. I thought that Andrea was going to 360, but is Jean-Baptiste Dubourg our second positioner in the standings, he's out. He, he stopped. I think he stopped. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But all this does is helps Andreas backward to try and smash another set of laps. Yep. Just oh, confirmation. That is, that is uh, Jean-Baptiste Dubourg is out. So he'll get a he will not he'll get a DNF. So he'll get low points for this qualifying session. But he is uh, currently in P. Oh no, that's going to be bad for him. Okay, so. What? Oh, what's happening here? It's looking like Is it's it red, red flag? flagged. Yes, there we go. We asked the question and the picture showed us. The race has been red flagged, which must be because Jean-Baptiste Dubourg is in a dangerous position on the track, so they need to do recovery. So everyone take a breath. That was a frantic first lap and a half. Well, first half lap, really. So yes, you can see there that they need to check that JB Dubourg is okay and remove his car from the racing line before this race can restart. So Thomas, talk us through what that means in terms of the, the, the qualifying points going into, because uh, Jean-Baptiste Dubourg was in P2 in qualifying, 133 points, but scoring maybe 20, 18 points for a DNF. What does that do to his chances to make it through to the semi-final? <laughs> Sorry, I'm making you do live yeah, maths. <laughs> my, my strongest side isn't the math, but I can say you this, Neil, it will turn upside down on the standings. You know, Jean-Baptiste Dubois really on... Now we can see the replay. Okay, here. let's watch exactly what happened here. So Delaunay, round the outside. So he actually he kind of gets cannoned into Jean-Baptiste Dubois and then keeps the foot oh. down. It was actually the three... Uh, the, the three uh, Cars from the French cars, they're only going around the outside, having contact with the ball there, making him spin in the car and then into the barrier, being, being a really hard hit there. Yeah, a really hard hit there for JB. He would have, the, his head would have been ringing from that one. Let's watch it again. So backwards, cleanly in the middle, and somehow, somehow, watch that Skoda Fabia manages to stay out of trouble, tucks into the inside, and all the action is on the outside to his left. Extraordinary. So it was a, a rear left clip of the wheels, a wheel on wheel, which spun Dubourg out and into the gravel and into the tire barriers. And really good job by Bakri there, just staying out in... Oh.